All right, guys, so we are finally underway. We are moving, we are moving. What do you think, babe? I'm loving it, guys. It's a great experience. I don't know why, I'm just so excited. <laughs> yeah, great experience so far. Great experience so far. All right, guys, so I want to share a tip with you guys um, that we found out and thank God we did. Um, when you guys come on board, make sure you have a well an extension cord so there's only one outlet in your uh, room so we brought on a extension cord so now we can run on to uh, three other uh, devices so uh, a little bit later on I'll plug in you know my uh, laptop babe can charge your phone Christian's got his uh, iPad, well, my iPad, which Babe gave to him. <laughs> so uh, we'll be able to charge all of our devices uh, with just this one outlet. So very important, if you come on board, make sure you bring an extension cord. All right, so our dinner is at uh, 8.30. We were originally gonna go to the dining car, but Babe decided let's just have our food uh, in the room. But we're hungry, so we're gonna, uh, head to the lounge right the lounge car cafe. You know, a lounge car cafe and go grab a little uh, snack before our dinner because um, right now it is 10 after 4 so we're underway um, our car attendant said that uh, once we get underway uh, we can go and uh, go grab a little uh, snack so let's head on out all right so we're heading up to the lounge We'll uh, go get some snacks. It's actually pretty uh, comfortable ride so far. It's not bad. Sorry. 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 All right, guys, so we just got back uh, to the room at, uh, we end up getting like a grilled cheese, uh, hot dog and uh, cheeseburger and some fruit juice, which was like a cranberry, mini made cranberry grape drink. Um, they, were, they were pretty decent, but the food from the, what the, the lounge or lounge car, whatever it is, it's all microwavable so the cheeseburger everything was cooked in a microwave and what do you think well they had two staff there you know serving the food so they don't allow you to use the microwave for your own personal items um so microwaving the cheeseburger the bread got really tough the bread for the hot dog or the hot dog bun got really tough and the grilled cheese the bread was so so like in between tough um i don't think it was worth it for the price the burger was like seven dollars and fifty cents the grilled cheese was 550 the hot dog 525 um because the bread got tough in the microwave yeah so because the bread got tough in the microwave I don't think it was worth it but you know we're waiting four hours for dinner so we were hungry and it was a nice little setup as far as like the tables and the chairs 
to dine. You know, families are down there taking pictures. Well, up there. Well, up there. <laughs> so, overall, it's a cool experience. Yeah, so, um, as Babe said, the, the bread just got very hard because it was microwaved. Um, but the hot dog, actually the hot dog, that was pretty decent. The grilled cheese, it is what it is. It was cheese and bread. Um, again, that was okay, but you did have, you know, some hard spots from the microwaving, you know, the food itself. And the hamburger, eh, it is what it is. Um, kind of reminds me of a stadium uh, hamburger. If you ever, you know, go to a live sporting event, that's what the food tastes like, to be honest. But we're going to be eating at 8.30. Um, we'll, we'll see how that food is. Hopefully it's just prepared regularly um, and not microwave. But we'll, we'll see how that goes. Um, I wanted to show you guys also, like, the lounge car area. But it was just so chaotic up there. Everybody must have been hungry. So there was really no organization. Um, I didn't want to, you know, just be filming. And people are already aggravated. Um, the cash register thing went down. Wi-Fi on board really isn't that great. So um, I just didn't want to, you know, uh, put the camera up and, you know, start filming. But um, just stick around, guys. We'll, we'll see, you know, how the rest of this uh, trip goes. All right. So we are supposed to have dinner at 830. Um, but our attendant, Joseph, brought it to us a little early. Um, so it's 7 o'clock now. Um, so we're going to try and eat. Baby sleeping. Um, so it was good that he bought it early. So now, instead of 9 o'clock being our turn down service, um, he's going to come do the beds at 8 o'clock, which is great. So he bought us our meals, which is great. They come in this little bag here, and I put the dessert bag on the floor already. So I'm going to get Babe her food. And what's this? This is my uh, New York strip. What, what did I get? Yes, yeah, whatever the steak I got. And babe's got that wonderful tortellini. Um, let's just see how these meals look. I'm gonna try and do this right. steak, potato, green beans in a roll, and Babe's got her tortellini and some green beans and pesto like cream. some shaved uh, parm. What's that, babe? It was in pesto cream. Oh, and pesto cream. Mm -hmm. Delicious, delicious. And this is uh, Christian's little macaroni and cheese, but he's knocked out, so he's not going to be eating that. And down here... Put our uh, drinks. Let's get the drinks out of here. Got her Sprite. Oh. And my little Diet Coke. And we got some desserts in here. Some cheesecake, carrot cake, and we got some red wine going on. So that's our meal. We're gonna sit here and enjoy this nice meal aboard the Amtrak auto train from Sanford, Florida. Oh, wait, I'm sorry. From, all right, so we're gonna still sit here and... Hmm? We're still in Virginia. Oh, yeah, we're still in Virginia. So we're gonna enjoy this uh, meal from, uh, where are we again? Oh yeah, Lorton, Virginia, down to uh, Sanford, Florida. So the ground all right guys so uh we just finished our uh dinners again i had the steak babe had the uh pasta with this what is it cream pesto sauce um and it was actually very good um uh, for a meal that was included in the price of uh the ticket it was uh quite good the steak uh, it was supposed to be medium uh medium well but it was definitely uh well done which isn't you know the worst thing in the world um, they did give these uh, plastic uh, silverware, um, which made cutting a steak a little bit rough, um, but it definitely, you know, did, did the job. Um, but overall, um, on a scale of 1 to 10, uh, I'd give my dinner at least an 8. 
Um, and that's a conservative eight. Uh, what would you consider yours, babe? Scale of one to ten. She gives her meal a seven. Um, for dessert, I had uh, cheesecake and she had carrot cake. I'd give my cheesecake probably uh, a nine, only because it wasn't like cold. Um, I like my cheesecake nice and cold and firm. This was a little warm and a little soft, um, but that's the only reason why I would give it a nine. Otherwise, I would have given it a 10. And your carrot cake? The carrot cake was perfect. I, I give it a 10. So she gives her carrot cake a 10. Um, Christian had some vanilla ice cream. What'd you give your vanilla ice cream, kid? Uh, he gives it a 10. And he didn't even have his uh, macaroni and cheese. Um, he did have a little bit of babe's food. But I I'd say the dinner meals um, aboard uh, the Amtrak auto train was definitely worth um, having. Again, it is included in the price of uh, your ticket when you have a room or a roommate or a family room or whatever. Um, but definitely good. All right, so we are somewhere in North Carolina. The internet is a little bad here, so I can't specifically tell you where we are right now. Um, the Wi-Fi on board the train isn't great. It goes in and out. Um, I guess with the cell service as well, it goes in and out. So I know we're somewhere in North Carolina, and it is about 7.45 right now. Yeah, baby, you're happy. He's happy to be on board. All right, guys, um, we'll check back in a little bit later on.